Well, we don't write a script around here, so we just do it. That's what I think. Uh, got a new one in. Don't even know what year yet. Just going to look it up. Hey, if you've uh, subscribed to the channel, thanks a bunch. I hit that like button and you'll get a notification. We've got another video coming out. I'm out here. I'm in, just in my work clothes. I'm in this really dirty shirt because, you know, I stay dirty. Serve me very well, this shirt, I would say. But anyway, we have this little guy is an Evinrude Fleet Twin. So I don't know much about this <laughs> at all. I mean, I know engines and everything, but this is probably a really early design. Probably the earliest one I've, I've you know, been involved with. But here is the cowling. It's like the chaps, uh, I guess you'd call it. It says Evan Rude, and I think it says Fleet Twin there. You can hardly read it. It kind of, you know, goes together like a Mercury with this little design over here, but then it, it like opens up, whoa, opens up like this. And uh, so you gotta get your choke knob and if you can even see this, hold it like that. It's like, I don't know, choke knob and then there's a air idle jet screw. You gotta, you could take them off with a screwdriver. But this is how it came off and it's pretty cool. I don't know how well we can read, but it's got little directions that's up here and I'm sure that you can't read it but you know starting and operating instructions mix one half pint of oil with each gallon of regular gasoline we recommend a reputable SAE 30 outboard, outboard <laughs> motor oil or regular SE 30 grade automotive engine oil, not heavy duty. Avoid use of low priced third grade oils. So, you know, the gas and oil was completely different back then. And then it gives you the gear housing lubricant. We recommend a good grade of SAE, not SAE, 90 automotive quotations, hypoid gear lubricant. If hypoid lubricant is not available, use outboard motor oil or, or another SAE 30 engine oil until recommended lubricant can be obtained. Do this in emergency only. Check your gear case oil after first five hours of operation to be sure it is filled. Then check periodically at least 50 hours, drain and refill at the end of the season. Spark plug, use common 161 or electric auto light A3X. Interesting, it's very interesting. So what I, I gotta do is just check it out for the guy and do, maybe do a compression test, see if it'll run. He, he gave me a couple, of, brought me a couple of uh, tanks. And so we noticed that we have two lines on this system. Um, so one is gonna be, I guess, the fuel inlet and then the, probably the other one is gonna be a return. It's going to be a return line, and he brought those over here that were kind of sitting over here. So probably what I'm going to do is take the plugs out. And Here's the tank that he sent me, and uh, I don't know. It's your basic flavor tank, but it does say OMC, uh, so this would be, you know, a certain point. Probably needs to be cleaned out. Some of the fittings 
maybe are pretty rusted might need like a if we can find a gasket uh, or make a gasket do a tarot fixes all kind of thing it's really probably fairly easy there's this handle is connected here and then the gasket is all the way around the tank so we could probably take the these this away from here and put a new gasket if it's leaking let's hope not you never know on those things that uh the hose is very greasy um what do you do you know if you keep it original it's you're gonna have to and who knows this hose might have been okay it didn't see any days of ethanol and it, had, it would have had like ethanol abuse so let's hope for that so we know we got to do a an impeller and uh you know but we need to check compression so we could put it in a tank and then do it um and decide what to do but I'm pretty sure that no matter what we do, you know, we're gonna need a a new impeller. I'm gonna take this off. I can spin it, you know, with the drill or something to check, see if I got spark. So I haven't really decided what I want to do yet. I want to either put it on the stand or not put it on the stand. Yeah, it's very clean. I mean, it needs to be like, you know, it's kind of dirty but it's very clean very clean motor okay this here is from the website max rolls and it's got brand year it's like an excel document and then they got something multi-year model model name serial range and then over here he's got horsepower so we got this avenue we don't i don't have a clue what year i had to call the guy i don't remember asking him uh but if we scroll down we'll get to the avenues i mean somebody's really taking their time putting this all together and uh by the way if you go to max rules like i got it up here you go to technical specifications old outboard identification i'll download a p the, an excel document i'm sorry and that's what i'm looking at here and is an excel document i got a, this free program numbers so we're going to scroll down and i mean they go way back there's an emmons you know and then we got evident 1910 or 1909 I've seen some other ones on here that were earlier. Uh, we're going to scroll this down and we're looking over here in this F column. The model of that, of that engine was, what did I say? 7520. So I'm saying it's probably 50s or 60s. So there's 68. Uh, so we got a lot of unknown there, and we don't even know what horsepower it is. So, 1963, I mean, it's a whole lot of unknown. Alright, well my camera turned off, I guess it's low battery. Uh, so anyway, we're looking for this fleet twin fast win fleet twin there it is 1932 that's the first instance of a fleet twin fleet twin 1933 so let's go back up to the 50s because i think it's not that early 19 I mean, they're saying like 1903, or no, that's 1932. Uh, and it doesn't give me Fleet Twin Electric, Unknown, 33. Fleet Twin, 
complete twin electric long shaft. Uh, let's see, if we can find another fleet twin. Lark. Let's see, big twin. Lark, lark. Uh, lark, starlight, sports and zephyr. There's a fleet twin, and that was 1950. That's more like it. But it doesn't give us any kind of number. Here's a fleet twin up to 43599. And then there's a fleet twin 43600. Okay, you guys, back to this. I was out there, threw a lower unit in before I uh, decided that I wanted to shoot this. So I found it, I think. It's this Evidrude 1956. And if we come over here, this is a starting serial number, 7520. It's a fleet win. And I think that's that's what it is. A uh, fleet. <laughs> Why well, didn't it have two T's, you know? Fleet twin. Fleet twin. I don't know how to say that. But, uh, yeah, I'll go back over here and look at this and see if I can see it. But 750... Dash 04039. Right there is our number. 7520 04039. <music>